Well, I suppose everyone was waiting for this update to drop at last. We're gonna be mostly checking out the mod situation because the crossplay and the whole PvP like stuff is cool, but this is the main event for us today. <laughs> Speaking of which, there's like a fourth panel and I hope I'm not gonna have to connect it to the computer and just download so stuff because that's not like a good solution to me that some games utilize, but I think nowadays the developers opt for inbuilt solutions. It seems like we just click. Why everyone has to like subscribe and then it's like a download button, like what's the philosophy? I don't understand it. <laughs> so for now we have like two lists of some stuff, like I don't know what to expect, if it's gonna be like the campaign wise gameplay or just like fast PvPs. I mean now that I look at it, I see the imports from Counter-Strike, which is hilarious, but I think that was expected. I'll look through some and I pick what to play. So, see you in bit. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, this is... surreal. <laughs> that would not be like one-to-one, -one actually, how it was, like the original. I'm not sure about the textures and stuff, like I'm sure it's borrowing from Calibur, though it's a little bit like... <laughs> what's the goal? Like, what's the purpose of the mode? I mean, I have my loadout, so... It's so weird, like... You're literally in the Counter-Strike environment. I mean, every game kinda strives to be one. Like the other ones. Two minutes. I don't remember if CS had some ambient music though. Ay, ay, ay. I need to find some camping spot. This seems like an else angle. Try mouse. Try mouse. <laughs> Jesus. So many of them. Maybe it's gonna be better to actually see it in multiplayer if some people are playing. You can play mods in the multiplayer, which is nice. Like, that's what I was wondering. Though no one is playing what I downloaded, so let's see maybe a second map. It's crazy that even though I was not like an insane CS player, like. I played maybe a couple times in my life, honestly. I can instantly recognize the locations. It only shows you the legacy. Does. I mean, you still can play them. I think Global Offensive does them. I'm not sure though. My god. So in the original you would have to, I think, protect the civilians. Ah, wow. 
The thing is that... Even though the resemblance is uncanny... There's not much else to it. Oh my god, I have to get weapons? Jesus. Like, at least for now, or the maps that I'm playing currently, there is a goal, but it doesn't feel complex, if that makes sense. Though maybe I'm just blabbing, like... Because I don't know if I was doing something else in the main list. <laughs> Hello? These are not civilians, they have weapons. I have a brigade. <laughs> he died instantly. It's not my fault. Move! What the? Oh my god! Well, one left. <laughs> okay, but... Go behind me! Where did I put it? I think you know. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's going in front. <laughs> I'm under heavy fire. <laughs> well, you went there. <laughs> Whatever, <laughs> it was. Push the mission anyways. Is there more to check out? Like, essentially you have uh, different maps for like deathmatch situations. Pretty good, though. Caliber was always known to me as a campaign game. So if there won't be something more complicated like go to point A to point B, then it's kind of missing the point, though it works. Like, it's very easy to download. You just pick and choose what you want. So far it's just Counter Strike stuff, <laughs> but it barely got released. So at least it's nice to see that people care and want to create. So the mods are here essentially, have fun. <laughs>